Here's an example involving wireless signals. If you think about the wireless receiver in your phone that connects to a network, then it's registering signal strengths from all the nearby wireless access points in a building. So let's say you've got a building. Maybe there's just one wireless network, but there are many access points, many routers. Those little things with the antennae on top. Okay, so you are at every single point in time registering signal strengths, X1, X2, X3, all the way up through Xn to those different access points. Now, many of those signal strengths might be zero, but at any given time, there may be several that are non-zero. All of these signal strengths together specify your location, your coordinates in a signal space and often tell you about where you are in physical space as well. Here's the thing, the dimension of this signal space is the total number of available wireless access points in the building. Even if most of them are registering a signal strength of zero where you're at right now, as you move around in a building, the coordinates in the signal space are changing. Again, the closer you get to an access point, the closer you get to a router, uh, the stronger the signal strength is. And as you move farther away, that signal strength drops off to zero. But as you're walking around the inside of a building, you're really tracing out a path in this potentially high dimensional signal space.